Hi all. This is a medium difficulty question. This is a quantitative reasoning question from the topic rates. Work time is a concept tested. Conceptually, you'll be framing a work time equation and arriving at the answer. The crux of getting this question right is actually interpreting this part properly. If you interpret it right, it's a very simple question. It would not even be classified as a medium difficulty question in that sense. But we go wrong in this interpretation oftentimes, and that's why this is a medium difficulty question. I've left you with a bonus question which rewords this a little bit and gives you one more question to practice. Solve that question at the end of watching this video and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Before we get started, have you subscribed to our channel? So thank you so much. If you have not, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications right away. Let's get started. A can complete a project in 20 days and B in 30 days. Straightforward information, right? A and B start working on the project together and A quits 10 days before the project is completed. Right? When A quits, you have to interpret it appropriately from what is stated here. A is quitting 10 days before the project is completed. We'll make sense of it in the next video. Uh, next slide. In how many days will the project be completed is what the question is. Let's get started. We'll interpret things that are very easy to make sense of. A completes the project in 20 days. So in a day, A will complete 1 by 20th of the project. B completes the entire project in 30 days. So in a day, B will complete 1 by 30th of the project. This is normally the stuff that we'll do. So let's finish whatever is in familiar territory. Now it says A and B work together starting at timeline 0, right? A and B start working together and do they finish the project together? No, let's say the project gets done in T days. A quits 10 days before the completion of the project. It takes, let's say, 30 days to finish the project. A quits 10 days before it gets completed, which means A quits 20th day. If it takes 12 days to complete, A quits at the end of two days, leaves the last 10 days only to B. However long it takes to complete the project, the last 10 days of it, right? It's only B he works, B who works the entire duration. A works only up till this point. We do not know what that point is, but we know that the last 10 days, A does not work. So if it's a 12 day long project, only two days A works. If it's a 17 day long project, only seven days A works. If it's a T day long project, leaving the last 10 days, the first T minus 10 days is what A works to in this joint venture project. So B works all T days, A works the first T minus 10 days, the last 10 days A does not work. Once you've got clarity on this, framing the equation becomes that much easier. In a day, A completes one by 20th of the task. So in two days, two by 20th. In seven days, seven by 20th. In T minus 10 days, A will complete T minus 10 upon 20th of the task. In a day, B will complete one by 30th of the task. If B works for two days, it'll be two by 30th. If B works for eight days, it'll be eight by 30th. B works for the entire T days. Therefore, it's going to take T by 30th of the task is what B will complete. This is the portion of the project that A works on. This is, the pro this is the quantum of the project that B completes. So together, they have completed the entire project in the T days. What are we trying to find out? How long does it take to complete the project? We're trying to find out the value of T, which is what this question is all about. So we have one equation, one variable. Solve for it, we'll get the value of T. And that's the answer. 20 and 30, the LCM is 60. That's a common denominator. So it's going to be three times T minus 10. Here it's going to be 2 times t, which is equal to 1. Expand the numerator, 3t minus 30 plus 2t. Cross multiply is going to be equal to 60. Take the minus 30 to the right hand side and add these two t terms. So you're going to get 5t is equal to 90. t is equal to 18. What are we trying to find out? t. t is the number of days it takes to complete the task. It takes 18 days to complete the task. If they both start the work together, and during the last 10 days, A does not work. So how does it work? So first timeline T is equal to 0. T minus 10 will be 8 days. So A and B work together for 8 days. And then the last 10 days, it's only B who works and completes the task. Totally 18 days, the project gets done. We'll just do a cross verification if you want. In 8 days, A will complete 8 by 20th of the task. In 18 days, B will complete 18 by 30th of the task. 
8 by 20, if you want, it's 40%. 18 by 30, it's 60%. So entire 100% of the project gets done. So this is the gist of it. So do a cross verification after you're done. This is a kind of question for which you may be able to substitute back, substitute from answer options to get to it also, which is another way of going about it. Let, as I said, here is your bonus question. A can complete a project in 60 days and B can complete it in 120 days. A and B start working on the project together and A leaves 24 days after the project started. It's a much more straightforward inference. And B completes the project. In how many days will it be completed is what the question is. I've got these as the answer options for you. Solve it and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation. <laughs>